Hey everyone, Nat Frankenstein here. Um, I've just gotten home. Uh, I've been at a concert tonight. I went and saw Black Label Society. Um, I'm a huge fan of Zach Wild. I don't know if I'm yelling because <laughs> my ears are ringing, but um, so we went to 170 Russell, um, which was formerly Billboard's a venue, um, and they played there. Uh, we we didn't get there for the opening act, which was Heaven the Axe, um, which is fronted by the awesome Phoebe. She's got a great voice. You guys should go check her out or check the band out and don't just check her out. <laughs> but um, we we didn't get there for, um, for the support act, Heaven the Axe, um, but we got there just before Black Label went on um, and they played for, I think it was roughly an hour 15. There was 14 songs on the playlist, um, or the set list rather. Um, I will, I won't tell you what they are, but if you're interested, I'll list them in the down bar below. Um, or alternatively, you can just check set list FM and, um, you can search the, uh, the set list there. But, um, so this is my second time, second time, second time seeing Black Label. Um, I just, I love Zach Wilde. He's just, he's such a charismatic front man. Um, I just, aside from having such an amazing voice, um, there's, you know, there's so much behind the kind of rock and roll and metal aspects of Black Label. There's so much blues and, um, you know, kind of roots and stuff like that. And I really dig how soulful his voice can actually be. Um, but yeah, this was my second time seeing them. It was my boyfriend's first time seeing them. Um, and it was, it was just a really good show. Like, if you're a Black Label fan, you definitely should get out and go check out their shows. They put on really great live gigs. Um, and yeah, I just, it was really good. And I, this time around, I was really, really happy because, uh, they played in this river and last time I saw them, they didn't play that. Uh, so that was like a huge highlight for me. They ended with Stillborn, um, which is an awesome song to kind of end the set list with. And, um, yeah, I mean, there's not a whole lot to say, really. I mean, if you're a fan, you know, you know how great the entire band is. I mean, you know, everyone kind of gives props just to Zach because he's the front man, but you can't, um, you know, you can't disregard John and Dario and Jeff, who are all um, amazing musicians in their own right. So they were really good. Um... I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you guys. It was just really, really great. Um, I'm going to pop some photos up on my Instagram if you guys want to check them out. I'll also put the link down below. Um, this was their, well, this was originally meant to be their first show here in Melbourne, but this show, actually, uh, blah, blah, blah. This show actually sold out. So they actually played another show yesterday. Um, so they played two shows in total, which is really good. I was uh, kind of wondering whether, or rather when they'd get back down here again. I thought maybe for Soundwave, but they did their own headlining show, which was really, really cool. Um, and yeah, Zach, Zach's just awesome to watch. He did this guitar solo, which was just, it's kind of mind blowing and, um, you know, he's really funny. He kind of introduced the band and he did it in the style of uh, like a wrestling announcer. So there was, you know, um, kind of references to steroids. And <laughs> if you follow Zach on Twitter, um, you know, you'll always see him making references to like taking steroids and doing, you know, like Kim Kardashian poses and moves and, um, it's just, he's really, really funny. He has a really excellent sense of humor and I think it's just part and parcel of, um, of the whole band and he's just, he's really funny. So, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, you guys, uh, it, I thoroughly enjoyed myself. There was songs from, um, you know, most of the albums, like I, I think it was a really good set list. Um, so that was really good and yeah, I just, I really enjoyed it. There's not really a whole lot else to say. So, um, yeah, 
That's real great. <laughs> it's just really good. And Zach has this amazing presence um, on stage. You know, he kind of looks like... He, he looks like he could be anything, really. I mean, aside from being, you know, an amazing musician, he looks like he could be Odin. <laughs> or he looks like he could be a Viking, some sort of Viking. Or even, you know, maybe a kind of shady-looking Santa, you know? <laughs> he kind of, um, he just has this very um, striking presence on stage. And he's just, yeah... He's so awesome. So it was really good. It was really good to see Black Label again. And um, oh, I hope they kind of, I hope they come back soon. You know, like there are some bands that, especially here in Australia, you don't get to see very often. Um, and I feel like, you know, Black Label could fall into that category. Like it's, they're here. Well, I mean, last time they were here, if I'm not mistaken was 20, I want to say 2012. I could be wrong, but I think it was 2012 when I saw them last. Um, so, you know, it's been three years and I just want them to come around more often. <laughs> it's really good. And also, ladies, if you love guys with beards and long hair, get yourself to a Black Label show <laughs> because it is just full of very good looking men with beards and long hair and you know I'm allowed to say this because my boyfriend fits that bill so <laughs> but um yeah no it was it was a really great show and um really energetic Zach is just I kind of think where well, it was funny because my boyfriend and I were talking my boyfriend was kind of like Zach's like a shark you know if he stands still he'll kind of just die you know because he has so much energy and and he just on stage he never stops like he's forever moving, constantly moving, whether he's, you know, playing guitar, singing or fist pumping. And it's just, it's so great to watch. It really is a pleasure to watch a band like that. And another thing I think that I really enjoyed was the fact that, you know, he just kind of came on and he was all business. Like he didn't need to chat to the crowd or anything. He just came on and he played songs. Like it was just a real kind of, I, I don't know, I want to say it was like a chill metal gig, like it was just, it was just all about business, you know, like it was just play, let's just hang out and play tunes and rock out, and it was just, I don't know, that's a really shit analogy, but it was just, um, it was really, really great, so... So yeah, you guys, um, I just wanted to check in and let you know that I had a really good time. Um, and my boyfriend did too, as I mentioned, it was his first time seeing them and he said he really enjoyed it, which is great. So, um, yeah, if you get the chance to see Black Label, please do yourself a favor. You will thank me for it. I promise you that. Um, but yeah, so if you're a Black Label fan, let me know. Tell me your favorite songs, your favorite album. Have you seen them? Do you want to see them? Let's talk about the goodness that is Black Label Society. Um, until next time, you guys, I'm Natty Frankenstein, and I will see you later.